Hello everyone and welcome back to another Terraria video on a journey mode playthrough. Now, I just wanted to start this video by looking at the brain of Cthulhu Cloud right there. It just, it just adds a little more details. Every boss you defeat, I'm pretty sure, uh, uh, appears as a cloud. We saw the Eye of Cthulhu one and I'm pretty sure... I don't think we saw anyone actually after that. So yeah, this is our second boss cloud, I think. And I'm passing by this jungle place. I, I bought myself a mini shark and I duplicated musket balls. And now I can fire this endlessly. And in journey mode, these things just shred everything. What fish was that? I don't know. Didn't get enough time to look at it. So, all right, wait, where's the meteorite? The meteorite's there. All right, I'm going to start off this video by go going and gathering meteorite to get a star cannon and maybe meteorite bullets if I want any. Alright, I was killed numerous times due to me not having obsidian skull, but now I have 118 meteorite, which means I can do these. Wait, what did that say? Why is it times 10? It should not be times 10. I don't know when I put it times 10, but that's dumb of me. See, what did I do? Ugh. What happened now? Just gonna shred them. Thank goodness flails are put piercing. Not a dead. Punch. Punch. Oh yeah, I remember. I should uh, get my slimy boy out. There we go. Whoop. Whoop. Plop. And he's dead. Plop. Nope. Plop. Okay. Whatever, I'm just gonna teleport away and hope we respawn. It is a blood moon, so that explains it. Um, now that I have infinite meteor, right? There we go. Uh, what can I do? I guess I'll make meteoric bars and duplicate them. That's the only thing to do. Let's make some meteorite bars. So technically, we could have actually gotten um, 75 meteorite, and then just made, and then just duplicated the bars, but I guess I'm dumb, and that's what I always do, do dumb things. So now, let's see what we can make. A meteor hammock is actually good, because it's our first hammock, so we don't need two different tools. We can have meteor armor, which is slightly weaker, and I'm not a mage, so I won't do that. Um, where are the meteor shots? I don't have any meteor shots. How do you make meteor shots again? Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go find out. So, oh, we can make phase blades! May the force be with us! Meteor staff? That's hard mode, alright. Sure. Okay, five fallen stars to make that. We can do that, and s musket balls. Where's the bullets? Oh, there they are. Let's just duplicate these. And now we have some stuff that we can use. All right, so that was successful. Now we can have uh, meteorite shots, meteor shots. And now we, uh, we can also have a star cannon, which if you didn't know is by far the strongest pre-hard mode weapon and i am excited for that because well i mean it's the strongest pre-hard mode weapon and we have infinite we don't have we don't have infinite stars we must find as many stars as possible all right i'll be back when we are ready to craft star cannon so i skipped ahead to daytime because the blood moon is getting annoying and i have now 999 fallen stars which is absolute amazing uh, did Star Cannon get a buff? Because I don't think it did this much damage. Or did it get nerfed? I hope it got nerfed. Because there's no... If, I, if I'm getting a f buffed or... Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Did, I don't care if it got nerfed. This looks absolutely amazing! I'm shooting like blue stars of death! I'm shooting blue stars of death! I am ready for hard mode. 
This is amazing. I actually love this. Uh, I think I'm gonna go teleport to uh, my cavern, and I'm gonna, s I mean my cavern town, and I'm gonna dig straight to hell because we're gonna pay a visit to hell, and probably the only visit, unless we need some stuff from there. Alright, I think we'll build um our elevator right here, right here, right here seems nice, cause this would be the cave entrance. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't really care about elevator designs. Do I? No, I don't. But do I? No, I don't. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna find figure something out, and I'm gonna cut back to you right in hell. All right, guys. So the method I resorted to was um, because this was actually well, this cavern's town was supposed to be like a slightly abandoned, not abandoned, like a really old. Um, place that's why it's all you know it seems like it's weathered down and stuff I made it so that this was um it used to be a mining cave and it was built by an explosives and why was it built by explosives because this guy is here and he was a convenient source of sticky dynamite even though I duplicated them I just like buying them because I, ha I had a bunch of money from duplicating them accidentally earlier. So yeah, I made like... It's like an abandoned mind. And the, the whole pre premise of this is... It's not safe. You can't jump down without like a pair of wings. Or like a horseshoe. Because, well, that's bad. You see there? Yeah, that's really unsafe. This is all meant to be abandoned and unsafe as possible and i will not put ropes there because that's unsafe or maybe i could put like some cut down ropes but yeah we are in hell i gathered five i, I gathered 600 obsidian because i uh use i researched 100 of them so i don't need any more obsidian i got three life life crystals on my way making that thing and i gotta get what 1 billion 1 billion hellstones i hate hellstone it turns into lava and i don't like it and yeah it, it yeah as i thought dynamite doesn't blow it up so my obsidian skull doesn't either i mean no so i can't i can't just blow it up i don't know why i said so my obsidian skull doesn't either like what was i just dumb probably that's what i always do be dumb it seems like i am about to die hope i don't but i need to jump to, into that lava for like a second just to get that hellstone uh all right nope okay Rip. All right, i'm gonna this is gonna be hard because i'm so used to like alchemist npc and those mods oh wait yeah what am i doing i i can i have plants how do I make, uh, whatever it's called, uh, obsidian skin potions? I'm sorry if I sound a little weird or tired today, because I am tired, and I'm exhausted, and I want to play this game and make a video, because that's what I like. But I am a bit exhausted, so yeah. Fire blossom, water leaf, obsidian, I can just do this! I'm a big dum-dum! Should have just done this earlier. What I need, fire blossom, that's easy. Fire blossom. I already have the obsidian. I can't make it. Hello there? Bottled water. Oh, water leaf as well, okay. That makes a lot more sense. I mean, it doesn't. But yes. Alright, so buy 30 obsidian pots. Um, let's just delete the flowers that I don't need. And yeah, alright, let's let's duplicate this. And let's go back down so we don't die this time. But we still uh, get hurt from fire blocks like a, a hellstone. Which is stupid. Unless they change this in Terraria 1.4. If they didn't change this, that's stupid. Like, if you're immune to lava, you'd also be immune to blocks like, I don't know, obsidian. I mean, no, um, Hellstone. But no, that's not the case in 1.3. They're a different system, I think. 
Alright, I'm gonna cut back when I get some hellstone. I'm really preparing for Wall of Flesh. Because I, I, I like over preparing, because why not? Oh hey, never mind, they fixed it. I mean, they changed it so that Obsidian Skin also avoids this. Well, now I sound stupid just now. And that's stupid. Oh my goodness. Um, um, yeah, alright, I didn't see wrongly. That's a, that's a voodoo demon. Oh no, 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 no. Go back out. Above the lava. Above the lava. Ah. Oh, okay, for the door. Oh, that's unlimited tries. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god. Oh, imagine if that fell into the lava. Rest in peace, me. Because that would be wall of flesh. And wall of flesh is not a boss you should underestimate. Unless you're in journey mode and you have basically everything to your arsenal, but like... Eh. Some would say journey mode is a bit too easy. And I will agree with you on that, but I don't like hard things, so I'll stay on journey mode difficulty. And bloop, would you look at that? 100 hellstone. It's just called hellstone, it's not hellstone ore, alright? Never not I, I never knew that. Just gonna grab a Hellforge. Because Hellforges are good and I like Hellforges. And they are the Furnace Mark II. Yo, why am I so fast? I could have sworn. Is, is this my normal speed? Doesn't seem like it. I don't need these fallen stars anymore. Which is kinda crazy. Because usually I'd be picking them up. It's like, oh it's a fallen star. But now I have this! The bringer of world. I just wasted 700 fallen stars. If I wasn't playing journey mode, I would never use the cannon because I could never use it. So now I have 1998. I am a king of fallen stars. Alright, so let's craft our stuff, I guess. We have the um, obsidian, so we can obviously make infinite hellstone bars. Wait, why is there two recipes? Oh wait, no, that's crimson bars, I am blind. Seems legit. Alright, that's quite a bit of hellstone bars. I don't know why I got that much. Because yes, is good. Alright, let's see, hellstone bars, what can we do with you? Imp staff, finally an upgrade to the second weakest weapon. Goodbye. Ruthless as well. That's one of the best modifiers. All right. Sorry slime staff Really nice to be with you, but now I got like a better pet like ten times better Okay molten armor Is this a melee set? I know this I think if it's not a melee set then I'd be confused. Yeah, this is a melee set and I'm gonna use it that's a re-sprite. That's a sick re-sprite. I love this re-sprite. Oh my goodness. All right, we have a molten pickaxe now, which makes everything much stronger. A fiery great sword. I think I'm gonna go craft a terror blade, which means we need the knight's edge. Um. Yeah, you know what? A knight's edge would be fitting to f kill the wall of flesh with. But you know what? A star cannon's always better than a knight, knight's edge if you have infinite ammo. So I don't care. But anyways, yeah, these are really good re-sprites. I love these. Anyways, we got a good upgrade to our pickaxe and our hammax. A whamax. And now we have a molten set, which is a bit higher defense, yes. It also benefits our flail, if we're ever gonna use it. I love flails, but like, I also love the star cannon. So yeah. And I'm sorry, guide. No. No, I don't want to sacrifice the guide this time. I was always fine with it. But. But now he's all happy. He's talked to the zoologist. He's set lanterns for me. He's guided me. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. 
Why must we do this? But if we want to do this, we need to do this in style. We need to make the water walking potion. Dun dun dun. So we'll use the guide for one last time before he dies. This is our first guide. He didn't die ever once. And now he's going to die and I'm so sad. I don't want this to happen. Alright. Whatever. We gotta sacrifice him. It's the only way to move on. So, where is our water walking? Shark fin. I don't have a shark fin. I don't want a shark fin. I'm gonna make a hell bridge real quick. Should I? Or should I grind this shark fin? I don't know. I'm just confused. I don't know what to do. It's the wall of flesh. Uh, one, one might say this is the most important fight in Terraria. What most might say it's the second most important, aside from Moon Lord. I also wondered why don't I don't think we have an oasis? Yeah, we don't have an oasis. Is that natural? Is that like common? And this this is the oasis, which is clearly not. All right, should okay. I don't I don't know what to do. I'm just confused. I'm a confused little boy. I'm just gonna go. go. So wings just negate fall damage, apparently. I should have known this earlier. I could just use the slime mount, even though this is dangerous. I thought you had to glide to, for them to negate damage. Oh, man. I st oh! Oh, there's another root. Oh, my goodness! X, X, excuse me? Why are you here? No, catch it, catch it. All right. Nope. Oh, I don't have my water, my obsidian skin. I should get that on. Obsidian skin, there we go. I'm still gonna die. That's not good. Maybe I'm gonna go home. I don't know what to do. I am, I'm, I'm facing a dilemma here. I just, I'm just confused. Should I build like... I guess I'll build a hell bridge then. Alright. So I'm gonna be back. With a time lapse. Of me building a hell bridge. I'm just gonna hope that 400 um, platforms is enough for the wall of flesh. I'm gonna hope that this star cannon shreds it. Let's just hope for that. Right, anyway. I've been dreading this day. Because it's, it's, it's the day that I... I think I leave the peace and tranquility of pre-hard mode. And go into the chaos that is hard mode. It's not really chaos. It's not really hard, per se. It's just... You don't have an, that kind of peace in hard mode. I'm still so scared, man. I don't, I don't want to do this fight. But unfortunately, it must happen. So... My tactic is Imp Staff helps us damage overall. B nades shred the um, the hungries and then Star Cannon kills everything else. Make sense? Hopefully. Because that's what I'm gonna do. Right, goodbye guide voodoo doll. And goodbye. Oh no. No no no. <sighs> goodbye Cody the guide. I wonder which guard will come to replace you. Damn it, I failed. Bye bye. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Cody. I'm so sorry. All right, uh, deploy. Okay, he's too far away, so just attack with star cannon. All right, and then now we deploy the B nades. B nades go through platforms. 
so we must hit them. Alright, go be nades. Be nades, go. Go be nades. Go be nades. Alright, be nades, shred everything. Dude, we're shredding this. We don't need this kind of platform. Oh my goodness. This is journey mode. There's so many hellbats in the background. And we just we just unleash the spirits of light and dark. Oh! Oh! Tortured! Oh, I don't have purification powder. Well, dear tortured soul, I'm sorry you have to keep being keep tortured. But that's it! We're in hard mode, and to reward us, we got a sorcerer's emblem and a sharp prune hammer. And one soul of night? How did that happen? Oh, this is corruption. F. 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 More tortured souls. Stop. Stop appearing. Stop. I don't have my purification powder. Well, hope you enjoyed this video of me transitioning from... And, and it's... The moon's directly on top. It's like a darkness to this world that I've just unleashed. It's calm for now. But when will the pirates and the goblins start attacking? We won't know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice day. Please do have a nice day. Don't have a sad day. Sad days are bad. Um, wash your hands, stay at home. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. It helps me a lot. Click the subscribe button if you want more content like this. Although hopefully better than this, vi this video. This video is should be a bit shorter than normal because I am a bit tired and sleepy. But I, I couldn't resist the urge to just go into hard mode. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully I have a nice day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.